right, checking back in on our question of the day. We told you earlier, 72% of pet parents would be willing to remove guests from their wedding in order to include their pet. This is according to a new study from Rover. So we want to know how important would it be to you to have your pet as part of your wedding? And some of you are already answering this morning here, so you can vote on your screen. You can scan the QR code or go to our website, box13seattle.com slash poll. We'll check back in at the end of the show with a look at the totals here. But, you know, this actually... Uh, leads to our next interview this morning here. Uh, professional wedding day pet care is available in our area. This is a service called Wags Down the Aisle. So joining us in studio with details on the services available is the owner, Adrian Diallo. Uh, Adrian, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Thank you for having me. Um, we were just chit-chatting. Okay, we have, to, we have to talk a little bit about your business. It's called Wags Down the Aisle. Mm -hmm. For people who are unfamiliar with this, this is like the dream situation that you've created here. Yes, it is, because everybody loves a corgi or a dog, <laughs> and everybody wants a little something special at their wedding, mm -hmm. so you get the best of both worlds with your dog there. All right, so you actually will go to someone's wedding and take care of the pets just to make yes. sure that it's seamless for the bride and groom. Exactly, so we do everything from transportation, coordination, logistics at the venue, all those good things to have a successful time, we'll do it all. All right, and we do have to ask who is the corgi because he's very bossy right now, but we he love is. a bossy corgi. He is, he's just begging for treats. This is Llama. Llama. This is my fur nephew. He's such a good boy. And, and he's, he's got his bow tie on. He does have his bow tie. He's so thrilled to be here as well. Oh my gosh, he's the cutest. You know what, he can beg and growl and bark at us the whole time. Yeah. If he will. He's allowed to do it. Yes. Um, but so, I mean, a pet like this can go I've seen more and more pets in weddings mm -hmm. nowadays, even people bringing cats to their yes. photos. Uh, is this more of a, is this trendier now than it used to be? Absolutely, yes. I think as people are considering their dog to be their family member, yeah. more and more we're seeing that folks want their dog at their wedding, and it's crucial. I mean, you can't have a wedding without them. Mm -hmm. I also feel like as we see more younger folks getting married, we've got more dogs coming with us. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, when when we talk about the, the, the business that you've created, um, what do you... What do you offer when when you when you have these services at the wedding? How do, how does the whole thing work? Yeah, so a great example is yes, Lana is like I have so much to say about this. I know. Yeah. You can chime in he at knows. any point. Anytime, my man. anytime. So in um, most of our situations, we'll pick up the pup at your house, your Airbnb, your hotel, and drive them to the venue. Once we get to the venue, we'll put them in any attire that you have for them, um, like a floral collar or a cute harness. And yeah, we'll walk around the venue, get them comfortable. A huge part of what we do is making sure that our, our pets are happy and content with what's going on. Mm -hmm. So we'll help them pose for pictures. We will walk them down the aisle or hold on to them as, they're, um, as the ceremony is happening. Mm -hmm and make sure that they're just having a great time. Usually we take them home afterwards, feed them dinner, take them for a walk. It's all about making sure that the pets have a successful environment to have a good day. To have a good day. Yeah. And that, I feel like if the pet has a good day, you're not worrying, and yes. you can have a good day on your special day as well. Yes, exactly. It's so stress-free for the couples because you don't have to even think about what your dog is doing, and you don't have to ask a friend or a family member to do it yeah. because we're really just focused on the dog and their involvement in the wedding. I so I just think this is a brilliant idea. If I could have had my dogs at my wedding, at a, I mean, I would have done that in a flash. But it, yeah. there's so many considerations to think about. So I have yes. to ask you, I mean, how is business? Business is great. Good. Yes, it is a uh, full swing of wedding season right now. <laughs> we are very busy, and it's been absolutely fantastic. You are just the bossiest. He, he is. He's so bossy. I love it. Oh I know, gosh. bud. I love a corgi. I love a bossy corgi. I know. Um, if customers are interested in booking wax yes. down the aisle, how do they get in contact with you? So I am I am available in many avenues. Our website is wagsdowntheisle.com. I'm also available on Instagram. Our handle is wagsdowntheisle. And so is it just you right now or are you expanding? So I actually have an amazing team of six women who work with me. Cool. We, yes, but um, we serve all of Washington between the six of us. We're spread out throughout the state. So regardless of who is working your wedding or your event, 
you're going to have a really good experience I with us. I have to admit, I'm so happy for you. I'm slightly jealous because <laughs> I love a wedding and I love a yeah. pet. I just feel yep. like you have found the best of both worlds to make a career out of and I'm so excited for you. Thank you. I appreciate it. It sounds so good. And you did, Lama, you did such a great job. He did. He's a star. Yes. A true natural. Huh? Thank you for speaking with the media today. Yes. He's like, I would like to speak for more treats, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Adrian, thank you so much. It's thank you so much. You. Oh, and you too, Llama. Go boy, Llama. <laughs> He's going to get lots of treats and heads. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> On the back legs. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Always. All right, we're going to send it over to you, Brian. Is that Llama? Llama the dog. Llama the dog. I've never heard of a dog named Llama. I love it. I'm obsessed. I want this job. <laughs> I, I definitely want this job now. That's good. Llama. Great job. Absolutely.